Okay, so what we're gonna do today in the Instapot is we're gonna cook this butternut squash, these two green summer squashes, and these two yellow summer squashes, and this corn. And we're gonna do it totally different. So come and watch how I do it. Welcome to Vegan Kiwis to Pistachio. First step is you have to get the Instapot, you have to turn on the power, you have to use your vegetable steamer. You're going to take off the center stem off off the vegetable steamer. So we need all that space. Put this little thing in a safe place. And now we're going to prepare the vegetables. Okay, so what we're gonna do on these little baby squashes, we're gonna cut off where the gourds are at. We're just gonna cut off the ends. And then after that, we're gonna wash them. Take off that end there. And then take off green zucchini ends. We need the room, so this will just help us out. I'm hoping not to have to cut them in half. Take the corn, we're not gonna take it out of the usk, and we're just going to cut it like this. Of course, it's not gonna go that easily. Use your strength and break it in half. Leave the corn in the husk. We're gonna use this butternut squash rather than this one because this is a much bigger butternut squash, and we need to have the room, so. The same thing here, we're gonna try to cut off the edges here. Okay, now we're gonna wash it. Now, for the corn, it's totally different. What we're doing is we're saturating the corn. We're leaving the usk on. We're just gonna be doing this. Once we shake it off, it's gonna go right in the Insta Pot liner, and you'll see that in a minute. The squashes, they really, really already have been washed. I'm just making sure that nothing has gone on them since the last time I've used them. I'm leaving the skins on. If you saw a blemish, you could take that off. I'm not going to. All right, so you can see the corns are in there. That husk fell off, so we're not going to use that. We're going to lay it upwards like this. I'm going to put this in here, the corn, this yellow squash. I'm going to try to find a way to get it in there. Now we're going to have to squeeze this in here also to find a way to get that all. So we may have to. So what you're doing basically is you're maneuvering things around trying to find the best fit. And I don't really want to cut the vegetables. I want to show you what you can do with your Instapot. So what I did is I cut another corn. So I saw I had some space down here on the bottom. And this is one and a half cups of water. And that's it. What we're doing is we're steaming these vegetables in their skins. And these are edible skins, so they're perfectly fine. And as for the butternut squash, we're going to end up peeling that or making, splitting it up, removing the seeds, and you'll see how easy and tasty it is. And then the advantage of this is that it's taken almost no time to prepare. Well, first thing we do, we make this sure that this sealer valve is in the middle because we want it to seal. I mean, next, we set the timer. Okay, so we're going to press manual. And we see the time is that we're going to move it all the way to 50. We're going to be venting it naturally, so it'll take another 10 to 15 minutes. So it'll be a total of 30 minutes cooking time. I know this will turn out. Okay, so I'll see you when it's finished. With the power turned off, see, there's plenty of steam. Now we're going to let it vent for 15 minutes. Okay, you notice there's no steam. Okay, so first thing we do is we open it up, pick up the lid, and let the juices fall in. Now, it looks a little bit like, use this knife so I can show you what I'm looking at, like this yellow squash has just basically fell on itself. It's perfectly cooked, the knife just falling right through. Okay, so we're slowly gonna pull this out. Just gonna lay them inside. I see the, what's happened with the squash, but what's amazing is that, I want to show you this. This is the, one of the prime reasons to do this. This could be used, say you were in a hurry and you had to cook something. You put this in here. Look how easily it is to open that up. Now you just take a spoon, one of these spoons, and instead of having to scrape everything, see how easy that's coming off? So this is the fastest way I've ever seen to be able to cook a butternut squash. And I'm gonna let everything cool and I'll come back and clean it up. We'll see you after it cools. 
So it was really easy to be able to take the butternut squash and basically cook it this way. I was able to simply peel away the husk. I mean, even easier than before. I'm just gonna show you an example. See, this is the husk right here. It comes right off and it's a lot easier than what normally that you have to put up with. And it's not just coming out. All of the hairs that are normally all over the place when you pull out are all together. So it makes it a lot easier. So what I've done is I've put it together in this container over here and I'm gonna store that part tomorrow morning. And tonight, I'm gonna just have a wonderful delight. I have the, the green zucchini, I have the yellow squash, I have the butternut squash, and I might even just see how easy that was to cut, and I have the corn, and it'll be my dinner tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in our next one. Thank you very much for joining me. If you like this channel, please subscribe.